I'm going to talk to you about an engineering option, which is the WJEC Level 1 and 2 uh, Engineering Qualification. So it's, a, it's equivalent to a GCSE. Um, the engineering qualification is designed around a series of components which build up to create the overall qualification. So as such, you can actually build your, your grade over the course of the qualification. So what will your lessons be like in engineering? Well, some of them are going to be about design communication, which is the drawing and the, and the showing of ideas and, and showing that you're able to use computer-aided design skills, you're able to use hand drawing skills, you're able to communicate the details such as dimensions and how components fit together using a range of processes. Now that does include hand drawing and computer-aided design techniques. One of the largest parts of this qualification is the actual engineering production and I'll talk about this specifically in a minute but you will be expected to carry out a large amount of practical activity in the workshop to develop your manufacturing skills in wood, metal and plastics, probably some electronics as well and those skills will enable you to work accurately and precisely to produce a series of products over the course of the two years um, in preparation for one of the the assignments. And then finally there's a written exam which is um, at the end of the course but you actually you can take it twice. You can take it at the end of year 10 which would be our plan and if necessary you would take it again at the end of year 11. So you get two goes at it. But there's a lot of uh, engineering theory that needs to go alongside any manufacturing and material selection anyway. So you will be taught the theory that you require for that exam throughout the various parts of that course. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go through the unit. So unit one is engineering design and it's about design communication and looking at how engineering kind of solves problems and makes products better. Okay, You will be given a specific brief. Um, now that's often something like a mobile phone, a phone charger or a, a device of some sort and you need to demonstrate how would you make improvements to that. And that would be done using your drawing skills, your uh, modeling skills, your isometric, your oblique drawing and again this is where your computer edit design and your um, technical drawing skills really come into play. That's what you're assessed on in this as well as improving a, a product by identifying its faults. 25% of the overall qualification. This would be carried out at, um, during year 10. Unit 2 is producing engineering products. Now look at that, that's 50% of the mark, half the overall qualification. Um, and what will happen with this is that you'll be given a series of technical drawings which show you what you have to manufacture. So every student on this course will make the same end product. So you're assessed on how you carry that out, how accurate you are, how you do your testing along the way to make sure um, it turns out as expected. And you'll use a full range of engineering equipment in the workshop, including computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing equipment, um, and hand tools and machine tools such as milling machines, lathes, drills, etc. And you will end up with, with a final product the same as everybody else. So we can compare them. Okay, probably using the exam board's example of a light, but it might be that we adapt that as we go along. Um, so that's a, that's a practice on show, demonstrating your own skill level. Really interesting one that. 50% of the qualification, huge. And then the final one is a 25%, so a quarter of the qualification again. Um, so that is uh, an exam, solving engineering problems. And that's where you apply your engineering knowledge and your engineering understanding of materials, processes, and components. A okay? couple of examples there from, I think it's the 2019 exam. I'm not going to go into detail on what they are. But it's looking at um, completing a technical drawing, describing why a particular process has been used. Um, it's a it's a one and a half hour exam so nothing too much to worry about if you prepare for it properly it's not an arduous exam but it's 25 percent of the overall marks you would need to get a pass in that in order to get a pass in the qualification but you do get two attempts at it and um, it's well within your understanding um, to, to be able to do that we'll prepare you for that so there's nothing to worry about it's part of technical drawing, it's part of materials, which you will have studied by the time you get to that exam. What sort of career might I do with engineering? Now, engineering is a huge um, range of fields. Almost anything involves engineering, whether that's the smallest uh, drawing pin has been engineered and it's been manufactured, right up to uh, the SpaceX Dragon capsule that's taking 
astronauts off to um, the International Space Station. This is all different types of engineering. So this qualification can really lead you in a number of uh, different directions according to your own skills and your own experience. It's certainly something that opens doors to you um, and gives you lots of choices afterwards. It's a really good curriculum offer. Um, sits alongside the Design and Technology GCSE um, in terms of developing your skills and your manufacturing. Probably the big difference, if you were looking at the difference for the two, the design and technology is probably a little bit more like solving problems um, to do with users and thinking more creatively, whereas the engineering is more about thinking about solving problems from a process um, outcome. But obviously, you know, a huge overlap in, in, in those two skill bases, and you'd really get the opportunity of um, demonstrating your skills and ability in a workshop environment. Okay.